Hey everybody, it's Dan. I got a nice trade for you. It's a Sunday evening about 6 o'clock. Um, I think I mentioned it in writing, I don't remember, but with this ability to automate these trades, um, I'm probably going to be posting a lot more. And so that affords you the opportunity to not always have to take every trade. <clears throat> I mean, I like that you would because I just have this superstition that you know, if we have a 30% failure rate, and what if you pick all the wrong ones? But that's not likely because a 30% failure rate is 30% failure rate. If you pick three, you probably one won't work. Um, but anyway, there'll be more coming, and I'm trying to get uh, all different sizes trades for all appetites. So this is CBS. Um, it's a super strong buy. Now, this is one that I would have skipped quite candidly because it's already at the top of the Keltner channel. However, now with these new screening tools, I'm getting more confidence buying outside the Keltner channel, um, and, and I think it just creates a lot more opportunity. Does that mean it won't pull back from, you know, maybe 56 to 54 after we enter it? It's very possible, um, but that's why we have to plan these things where there's lots and lots of room. So um, this one, in fact, uh, breaks even at 46.65, and as you can see, that's a 93% probability trade. It also has better numbers than some of the others in that it's a two to one. So $85 gain, uh, 165 max loss. Um, this is one for those of you that feel comfortable, know what you're doing, and you want to step up to a second contract. This might not be a bad one to do that. I'm going to take an extra couple minutes and show you uh, all of the different screen screens. I showed them earlier, but I want you to see them in light of this particular um, trade, just to give you some, some comfort. All right, so let me open up this. So first of all, um, this is uh, the trend indicator. It's sort of the first of, of the series. And as I said earlier, uh, you want to see the green come up and you want to see the histogram fill in. That's happened. You want to see uh, the bar move from the zero line here up to the positive line here. That's number two, confirm. Number three, uh, first blue bar. Um, now, granted, it's interesting because the stock has run up, but you really didn't get a strong buy until now. You had other blue lines, but you didn't have confirmation up here. This is what I like about the screening process. Um, it's giving a lot less false negatives. And of course, we're in the green. Okay, that's only one of the one of the screeners. Uh, let's do the next one. Now, this one is a trend indicator. And, oh, sorry, the other one was breakout catcher. I made the same mistake earlier. A lot of times you won't get confirmation on this one because it's really designed to predict a reversal. And I don't think we're going to see a reversal in the stock because it's already firmly uh, running up. Um, well, there you go. You got a reversal. So we got a buy signal here. And then we've got, again, uh, uh, this is a different screener uh, going from nothing or negative up to the plus side. So very strong buy there. Next, uh, the RMO and the RMO2 dual view. Dual view. Uh, and as I recall, these are all positive. Yep, so same thing. And we got this alert. RMO just entered the bullish zone. Uh, so green, got our lines in place. We got a blue line above the zero point again. And we've got a buy bar. And these trades are best when you buy above the first arrow. So this has that. And again, green down here in the bullish zone. So I hope you're seeing what I'm seeing here. There's just lots of positives here. Uh, next is the, whoops, just the, the uh, RMO. And again, another uh, another uh, alert here, and this line just went above uh, the swing signal. Um, so if you were in this trade short, this is telling you get the hell out. Uh, we also got the uh, Raul Mohinder. That's what RMO, by the way, is. Oscillator just went positive, and we had our first uh, up arrow and our first blue. Now, believe it or not, these lighter blue colors are a preliminary entry sign. Um, so... Even though we're above the Keltner zone, this system's telling us this is just now starting to get good. Um, because what happens, it doesn't happen all the time, but you can see it was all buy. Then it went to lighter blue. So that's telling you there's a change, and this is the change. It's positive. Um, now, it doesn't mean the next bar can't come out red, but, but at this moment, it's all looking pretty good. And then I think we got uh, two more quick ones to look at. I love this one. And this one's showing... Um, it's the first time that the, the, oh, come on. There we go. So when, when the bars are above the red oscillating line, it's a bullish trend. 
And when the bars fall below, it's a bearish trend. It's really accurate. I've been studying this a lot. So you can see we just moved above the red for the first time in, in I think, for the whole month of August. And then last but not least, the trend decider. Wait, did I do the SMI? Yeah, that was the SMI. And um, so, again, green is daily, red is weekly, and blue is monthly. And you want to see uh, everything above the monthly. And so that just happened. And, uh, and you can see that just went green as well. So, I mean, I can't think of any more ways we can confirm this trade. Um, so we're selling to open the uh, 1221.4750 call. And that's going to give you a credit of 925. And then we're buying to open the 1221.45 call. It's going to give you a debit of 1090 for a net debit of 165. That's where we want to put our orders in. And, you know, I wouldn't want to see us pay more than 175 because what that does, I think you guys know this now, if you pay 175, your max profit goes to 85 and your max loss goes to 180. So you just kind of flopped it around and your break even will go up a little bit. Um, this is a good trade, but, you know, I think there'll be lots of these. So let's not give away too much. So start with a 165 order, go to 175, we'll watch it, and we might step it up if we have to. And if it pulls back, we might even get better entries. Okay, that's it. Sorry for the long video, but I wanted to share with you uh, the extra screening I'm doing now on all of our behalf.